Hello, thank you for stopping by my channel. Today's video, we are going to be doing a mental health check-in. Yes, we are doing it, and yes, I am in my car. I am on my way to an event, so um, I, really, I really didn't have time to uh, wait until I got home. It would be kind of too late. You know, sometimes when you do things and then you go home, you know, if you do any of this type of stuff and you say, oh, I'm going to do it later, later ends up sometime never happening because you get tired and you're like, oh, maybe I'll do it tomorrow. And these are some very important videos for me. So I thought, you know what, we're going to do that video in the car right now. So I'm just checking in on you guys, seeing how everybody is doing. Um, it is extremely hot. Um, I heard it's really hot in a lot of um, cities. So I hope you guys are staying cool, staying out of this heat. It is so hot. I am here in Texas and, you know, it's gotten pretty hot, you know. Yeah, so I try to stay inside, stay hydrated and all that good stuff. So, um, yeah, so anyway, um, like I said, this is a mental health check-in, just seeing how everybody is. Um, I, my last video in July, you guys, I had more viewers than I did um, in any video that I've done on this mental health check-in. And I was really happy because I love for this video to reach people. So, if you know someone that is maybe struggling with depression, maybe somebody that's going through some anxiety, um, or someone that's just been kind of down, and really, at some point, all of us have dealt with any one of those things, or could be dealing with any of those things. So, if you know someone that's not feeling too well, tell them to follow my channel. Um, send this video to them. I do these mental health check-ins once a month, as you guys know. I just, you know, I I just come in and see how everybody is doing. Um, you know, I always say my number one thing is make sure that you are getting therapy. And then also make sure that you find a local, because there's churches on every corner. Make sure you find a local church in your area. Because there's always, you know, on my last video, I talked about getting out and meeting people. You know, if you find a local church in your area, there's always groups. A lot of churches have a lot of different groups. I know Transformation Church does. I watch um, their services sometime. Sometime I watch it after I watch, you know, after I look at my pastor. If I don't make it to church, I watch it online. Um, I will watch... Uh, Transformation Church. They have a lot of groups. And if I'm not mistaking, a lot of those groups, if you join their like e-church, you can get into those groups virtually. And I think my church has some virtual groups too, because I do get emails from my church about a virtual uh, hangout group. So guys, ooh, excuse me, I apologize for that. Um, I'm drinking this water because it is so hot in the car. I had to hydrate but anyway um there's a lot of churches even though they may not be doing things um in person they may have like some virtual classes so check that out guys um that is a good idea to get plugged into somewhere you know that hopefully is positive and that will help lift you up in this time of need if you are struggling in um any area as in any mental health area whether you know it's panic attacks it's depression any of those things so i hope that helped you guys um, by giving you that information because i mean get into some of these groups i know when i first started going to my church i went to every group that they started up if they had a group going i'm telling you i was in it if it has something you know kind of to do with some of the issues that i had i would plug into every group possible so um you know check that out and like I said, Transformation Church, um, I believe that they have a lot of different groups, whether you're single, you're married, divorced, or whatever your situation is. Um, try to check them out. But that is pretty much all I wanted to come in and say and do today, guys. Um, you know, I really... I just like to tell you guys get some get some therapy you know you got to get therapy you need somebody to talk to 
when all these things in life is going on, life is throwing you all kind of curves, you sometimes need somebody outside of yourself to talk to. And a lot of times you don't want to wear your friends down. If you have friends, you don't want to call somebody and tell them your drama because that's what it starts being is drama to them because they're not dealing with it. To, with you, it's like a, you know, it's like, oh my gosh, all this stuff. But to someone else, it can wear them down because you don't know what somebody else is dealing with. You know, sometimes we'll call friends, we'll call family members, we'll call these people. You have no idea what they're dealing with. So, you know, sometimes it's good to find someone outside of your circle to talk to if you are having any um, issues. So hopefully you can find um, a counselor. Hopefully, uh, you know, I've kind of given you guys some type of, you know, way to find those counselors online on your website for your insurance uh, with your employer, you know, ask around. I'm seeing commercials when I'm watching YouTube videos on a better health. I've never dealt with them, um, but I've seen um, influencers on social media talk about them, um, that they are an online therapy. I don't think they take insurance though. I'm not, don't quote me on that, but there's a better health. And today I seen about five commercials. I was watching a YouTube video and five commercials came on and I'm like, okay, so, you know, this must be helping people. So I'll definitely tell people on my video about it. So better health, check that out. I will also put that in the bottom of my description, uh, Better Health. And I'll also put Transformation Church to find some groups um, on, at Ch Transformation Church. Go on their webpage. But I do believe that you need to become an e-member or something. Or you may not have to. I don't know. Contact the church and ask them about their groups. I know that I believe that they have Bible study on Tuesdays. I think I've seen them and they have church on Sunday. So plug into those guys. Cause I'm telling you when I was going through things, um, my, uh, when I was going through depression, I, um, I plugged into my church. I really got involved and it really did help me. It really did guys. It was a blessing to my life. It was a blessing to me um, at that time as a young woman. Um, it was a blessing to me with raising my children. Um, it was such a blessing to me. I'm going to talk about a lot of that on my channel. Um, I know you guys have probably seen, you keep seeing, you're going to talk about stuff, tell you know, I'm, I want to open up and talk to you guys so that you know that I'm just not somebody on here just running my mouth talking about you know, go seek counseling, go do this and go do that. And I haven't gone through nothing. I just want you to know that I've gone through some things and I mean some, some crazy stuff as a child, as a young adult, um, as an adult, I've gone through and I've had some really trying times. I have an event to go to, so I'm going to, um, actually in this video here in a moment, but I just want you to know that I've gone through some stuff. I'm not on here just saying, you know, get you a counselor, plug into a church, go do this, go do that, just to be saying it. This is not something that I'm just throwing out there just to, you know, say something on a video to get someone for, to look at it or to get likes. No, no ma'am, no sir. I've gone through some really heavy stuff in my life. And then not only have I gone through some stuff, I've been going through some things. Um, you know, that I can't really talk about uh, on my channel right now um, for several reasons, but I've gone through some things and I'm going through some things and I know what helps me. And definitely make sure that you are speaking positive to yourself and not only speaking positive to yourself, make sure that you are not like going over negative things that people are doing. Because a lot of times, I don't know if, you know, some of you guys are Christians or not, but I am. And a lot of times Satan uses people to do things to you and to aggravate you and to bother you. So, so you can be all, you know, cause one day I was going through something 
and I actually realized that that thing was like going into my whole day. And I was like, no, I don't think so. I was like, I'm not going to think about this anymore. I'm not going to talk about it. I prayed about it. And I said, you know what? It, it was someone that was actually doing some things to me. And so I said, you know what? If you're doing something to me, you're doing something to God. And I'm going to let this go and I'm going to let him handle it. And so I let the situation go. I stopped, you know, thinking about it. And I was like, you know what? I realized, Leslie, that's what you got to do. You can't go over things in your mind thinking about why is this person being this way towards you? You know, you're trying to be such a nice person to people. Why is somebody just treating you like crap? You just, you can't do it. You, you have, because if you don't stop it and you don't, say, okay, this is it. I'm not going to think about this no more. You will become like the people that's doing things to you. I realize that because guys, I've always been a really kind, sweet, loving hearted person. Now I can get mean, you know, if you ask some people, it depends on how you treat me. Now I'm not going to let somebody walk over me just because I'm a sweet, kind, nice person does not mean I'm gonna let you walk over me and trash me that I'm not going to do. So sometimes people will take your kindness for weakness. And like I've told you on several other videos that I did about conflict with your family members, conflict with coworkers or conflict with, you know, certain women, the devil will, he will use those people. And those people will think because you're nice, you're not going to do anything. You're not going to say anything. You're not going to. And I'm like, absolutely no. What I do is I watch people. I, I let you show me who you are. Like Maya Angela said, she said, believe. When people are showing you who they are, believe them. So what I do is I allow a person to show me time after time after time again who they are because i want to really when i when i let you go uh, alone and i don't deal with you no more or if i have to deal with you in a certain way i want to be able to have concrete evidence that this is you i don't want to have no oh maybe she was just having a bad day or maybe no 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 i want to know from from monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday are you acting this way once i know you are acting this way and you have done it for a very long time with me Guys, I am the type of person, I do not hold grudges. I will forgive anyone and everyone, but I will cut you off and act like I've never seen you. Because I do not have time for that negativityness in my space. Because like I said, I don't want to go over, why are you doing this? Why are you acting this way toward me? And I'm not doing anything to you. What I will do is I will cut you off. I'm telling you, baby, I will cut you off. And if you continue to do the things you're doing, you are now doing these things to God, baby. You're not doing them to me because Leslie done cut you off. She don't, she don't got nothing to do with the situation no more. When you're coming at her, you are now coming at the Father. And I don't think you want to battle with him. I really don't. So anyway, guys, I hope this video helped you. Um, I am actually going to let it uh, stop the video because... I got a few minutes before I go into my event. I thank you guys for watching my channel. I hope that you come back. I hope that I gave you some good information. Again, I will leave, I won't link it, but I will um, put Transformation Church in the um, description. And then I will also uh, put down that better help that I've been seeing on my video, on videos over and over and over. It's an online counseling. Like I said, I don't, I don't have any experience with it, but try it out. There have, I mean, if it's a website where you get many counselors, there have to be somebody that can be there for you and that can help you in your time of need. Okay, guys, I'm going to end this video. I hope that you have a wonderful day and please come back in September because I do these videos uh, monthly. Alrighty guys, thank you for watching. Please like, please share, and please subscribe.